Alrighty, so we have a new teaser at Cedar Point, and we have actually new teasers at Cedar Point, and it's very interesting as to what these teasers say. I want you guys to hear me out on what I'm going to discuss because I think I'm onto something. I want you guys to comment down below if you think I'm onto something or if you totally disagree as I am totally making this up based off of what I'm seeing and I could very well be wrong, but I do think I am onto something. So if you read here, the sign has now been changed to proper documents required for passage across Mississippi. Now we know that Worlds of Fun is kind of near the Mississippi River. And to get to Worlds of Fun, you cross the Mississippi River. Now, I think these bigger posters with the mining Cedar Creek Company on them refer to coasters. Now, you have like weird teasers like 125 and 6 at the bottom and a horse in the middle instead of the Valraven logo. And um, the, the requirements are a little different. Um, so it's very interesting. You guys can go read the fine details later because... Um, I definitely think this is a teaser for a Worlds of Fun coaster in 2019. Now, I could very well be wrong, but it seems like based off of the, especially the teasers that are going to come right after this picture, that um, Cedar Point is teasing all the additions in 2019. And I find this really interesting and actually extremely unique, and I love it. So in this poster, I definitely am going to jump to the conclusion, again, I am jumping to a conclusion, that this is teasing a new coaster for Worlds of Fun in 2019, and if it's not a coaster, it's definitely some high thrill attraction in 2019. Now, what's interesting is these next couple of pictures. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess on these ones as well, but I really do think I'm onto something here. So here you have a letter from, um, essentially, uh, Beauregard, I forget his name, Beauregard Chamberlain. I'm pronouncing his name wrong. I am so sorry. Um, but basically Maverick the Coaster. And it's addressed to Doswell, Virginia, King's Dominion. And then you have another one addressed to um, California. And I'm assuming it is not Knott's. I'm assuming this is for California's Great America. Because if you look at these teasers in depth or closely, they actually have stamps on them that address a lot of details, in my opinion. You have both dressed with a 19 stamp. So I'm assuming that's the year, and it's got the horse on it. And then you have one. So you have the one for um, King's Dominion with a twister or tornado on it. I'm assuming that's going to be a flat ride. So I'm going to assume that um, the envelopes are going to be smaller additions, not coasters. So I'm assuming King's Dominion is going to get a flat ride. And it's going to have something to do with, like, you know, a cyclone, tornado, or twister, something like that. And then you have what looks like a restaurant or a water park entrance um, or change room or something on the other stamp dressed for California. So again, I definitely think that's for um, California's Great America as they're getting a water park. Again, these pictures were provided by Cedar Point Food Blog on Twitter. I'll link them down below. And then the other ones are provided um, by Ride All Night, and then some are provided by um, another source as well. I'm, I'm going to find them all and link them all below, but everyone's sending me in pictures, and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, but... Um, these new ones definitely come from a Cedar Point food blog on Twitter. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? This is super interesting. So the big posters we know, and I'll discuss that in just a sec. There was the one for Canada's Wonderland that won all last week. And now we have the one for what I'm assuming is Worlds of Fun that was just posted to replace the one for um, Canada's Wonderland. And I can confirm, or based off of what Cedar Point food blog is saying, that there is no giga written or hidden on this new poster either. Um, and it, it definitely, it, to me, looks like it's for Worlds of Fun or hinting at Worlds of Fun. And I think it's a pretty good assumption to uh, make that Worlds of Fun could very well be getting a coaster in 2019. Now, I'm not assuming something big. I mean, the numbers on the bottom definitely insinuate something smaller. You got 125 and 6 down below. So very interesting numbers. Again, sometimes on teaser posters, you are not to take all the numbers seriously. Um, and sometimes red herrings are thrown in there, which I'll discuss about the Canada's Wonderland poster in just a second. But in this video, I included all the posters and teasers that have been posted so far. And I want you guys to analyze them and definitely comment down below what you think. Um, but I definitely find this extremely interesting. Um, it's super exciting. And I think I definitely am onto something here. Again, comment if you disagree or agree with me. So back to the Canada's Wonderland teaser, now that I actually think this means something. So on R1, we have the Valraven logo, not a horse. So you have the bird with a crown on it, and that could, and you have most unique, and you have weird numbers and giga hidden in there. Now, 
ours are the one for Wonderland is definitely worded differently than the one for Worlds of Fun, which is definitely something to take note on. So I think these posters aren't meant to be taken too seriously other than location, um, maybe a possible little red herring in there that might be a hint to something or mocking something, which I'll get to in a second, or even just teasing something. It could be anything. You never know with Cedar Fair and teasing posters or teasing at all. It changes with park. It changes with teasing. It, it, it literally, you do not know what to take seriously, but let's, let's look at this. So you have most unique, you have tight spaces, so a tunnel near misses could be that darkness and light. So, you know, going into the, the tunnel, we we know based off of what we're seeing that there's not going to be any light in the tunnel. You have the heat and cold that describes Canada pretty well. Um, dizzying heights, the coaster is going to be pretty tall. Um, sudden drops, you have like, you know, the two drops on a dive coaster. Um, but what also is, is interesting is this Giga. So the Giga was thrown in this teaser and it was thrown in a way that wasn't really meant to be seen that well. It was hidden so well that you literally had to know what you were looking for or you had to be staring at this poster for a really long time analyzing every little detail. If you go back and look at everyone's pictures, you can see a faint little discoloration in that area, but you cannot make out the words even with a picture right up against it. So it was not meant to be seen like that. It wasn't meant to be visibly seen and um, analyzed the way we did. And I think we were really lucky to see this. Now, it could be a fact, it could be, okay, maybe this coaster is a giga, or it could just be a red herring, um, and it was meant to, like, throw us off and tease us because of my videos and all that. Who knows with Cedar Fair, um, but either way is cool, uh, so I don't know what to take. And you have Mason Sandusky, you have a teaser poster here, um, and I don't know what to take from this poster in terms of sinuating a new attraction at all, but it's definitely um, for King's Island. And then you have other ones referring to charlatans, so um, the uh, Carowinds. Definitely a poster for a lot of the parks up here. And I think you guys should literally analyze these posters because I think there's a lot of great teasers on here that we're missing. And maybe we need some better pictures because, um, and not necessarily that these are bad, but, you know, like I would like to analyze these as like a whole community because I think these are definitely really unique and I think there might be some like you know little things in there for us to uh to analyze and maybe catch a few things for even parks in 2020 or like like for example King's Island maybe there's a little teaser in there maybe the giga was meant for King's Island even though I don't think so it was on the Canada's Wonderland poster and it seems that each poster is for that park um anyways um thanks for watching this video guys um I'm gonna have the posters playing after this so you guys can watch them and uh, figure out anything and see all the posters all together um, and definitely discuss down below what you guys are seeing if you see anything that other people haven't seen and what you think which parks are getting this is super interesting I hope you guys um, agree with me in terms of I think these mean something and I think I'm on to something here with a storyline and the teasing storyline that they're doing with um, Beauregard Chambolaine I know I'm pronouncing the name wrong, <laughs> sending out letters and addressing the parks as if like, hey, like you need this, you need that. It seems like um, there's some story, sort of storyline to be heard and, and seen in the future, which is super exciting. But yeah, definitely. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a like uh, down below. Subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more. Um, a Canada's Wonderland construction update is coming later tonight um, with some awesome footage. So stay tuned for that. Um, and thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.